Hi, this is Cheryl back with you from Farmhouse Frugally. So several weeks back, my husband had gotten this side table at the dump. And today we are going to spruce it up and make it coastal. First things first, it had to be cleaned all over. It had been sitting in my basement after he had brought it home. And then on to the color. Now I had purchased a sample pack of chalk paint from folk art some months ago and I decided to mix five or six of those colors together to see if I could get enough of one blue color or blue gray color that would look very coastal so this is what I did the largest one I had was patina so I started with that and then added some nautical and mixed that together and that was a little to maybe Dutch blue for what I was going for, although it's very beautiful. So I went ahead and added some of the Cascade and then mixed that and I was getting closer. <laughs> so um, I thought maybe just a little more green. So I had some Spanish moss and um, a little bit of that I didn't add too too much of that I didn't want it to go too green um, and that was getting me really really close to the color that I was looking for and then one last color was a touch of oatmeal and then once I mixed that all together I was absolutely pleased with that perfect blue gray color that I was hoping for and it gave me enough so that I knew I would be able to finish this piece. So second step is to go ahead and um, tape. Tape off everything that I didn't want to paint. And then to go ahead and give that one coat of the blue-gray. And it was 90-something degrees this weekend, so I had to do that inside my house. <laughs> Thankfully, this chalk, does, chalk paint doesn't give off any VOC. So that was lovely. Once that dried, I went ahead and added some water because second coat um, really wanted to go a little bit thinner with chalk paint. It uh, spreads the paint out, but it also helps it to spread around um, a little bit nicer on the piece. And so gave that an entire second coat and then removed all of the tape, my favorite part, <laughs> to reveal the beautiful color. Now on to to the top which was quite ruined that was my concern for this piece um, I thought maybe um, since the drawer fronts were so good I might just white wax them see the difference here one is and one isn't to give them maybe a more coastal feel this one isn't and then this one is you have that more of a hazy coastal feel so that's kind of what i was going for um since the poly on that was perfect but the top had to be sanded and sanded and sanded <laughs> so i went ahead and i did the best i could there were just some spots of poly that would not come up no matter what and i did not want to use stripper so i looked at the top of that and decided hmm i might not simply get away with waxing it so i went ahead and distressed with the sander um, and then took a poly acrylic finish um, to the top of that because I'm not really sure what somebody might want to put on top of this. Um, so once that polycrylic was dry, I liked it, but it still wasn't perfect. And here is the base of it. So you can get a, I did the whole piece in poly. So you can get a feel for how it's starting to look close up. Um, and then I took the white wax once that was completely dry. Actually, I sanded it with a 220 grit first. And then I white waxed the top to see if I could match those drawers. It wasn't a perfect match. The drawers were still a tad orangey, a little darker. So I took a dark wax. These are both bare wax products. And I waxed the entire top with the dark wax. Then I decided I wanted to do something fun on the sides of the drawers, so I took out some of my IOD stamps and some ink, um, and I just go ahead and, you know, kind of have some fun with that. Um, the 
I ended up not using an IOD stamp. I had a different, I forget the brand name of that stamp, but it really came out really, really cute. And then buffed out all the wax and came as close as I could with the color. And I'm really, really happy with it. I did change out the hardware. I thought the original knobs were a little bit small. So here is once again, a shot of the original piece. And then here it is finished, tea time. <laughs> I went ahead and I staged it a couple of different ways to give you an idea of some ways in which you would be able to use this piece as an entry sideboard, couch table, I mean really any number of tables. Um, so there's the color match. It got really close but not perfect. Um, I love it with the baskets though. That's the idea I had from the beginning was to use these beautiful Peterborough baskets that I collect. Um, so I hope that it will sell in my farmhouse sale. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope that you will share it with a friend that you think might enjoy it and please give me a thumbs up and I'd love a comment on what your thoughts are, whether this is something you would put in your home. Thanks for stopping by. I'll see you next time.